In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you a very simple way to drag a banner containing text onto the screen. This is often done with lower thirds, but you can do it with other kinds of options in your video production. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using a banner I created using Photoshop Elements. I'll give you a link to how I created that. Now, you may be using a different graphic designer, but it might give you some clues as to how you can create something like this using whatever software you prefer. I have on the screen a desert scene. We have a sunrise in the desert. Let's assume we want to bring a banner on. I'm going to take my banner image that I created already and drag it and drop it onto track number two. A couple things I may want to do with it. I may decide it's too wide and I'm going to resize it. I'll scale it down just a little bit and that looks better and then I'm going to put it where I want it to end on the screen. This looks pretty good. So now we're going to keyframe it. To do that, I click on it and I can press the F2 key or double click. That will get me into my PIP designer. If you have your keyframe area open, you, you'll see what I see. If not, you may have to click on the little blue triangle in the lower right and open up your keyframe options. I'm going to set a keyframe. Now I want to make sure my playhead is on the left side, my time indicator, and I'll click on the position with the diamond to set a keyframe. So now I have a keyframe at the very beginning. I'm going to go in about two seconds or so and I'll set another keyframe by clicking that diamond again. Now I want the first keyframe to be off the screen so it can slide onto the screen to the second position. Now one thing I want to notice is I have my object settings open on the left panel. My Y position is 0.812. I need to remember that for a moment. So I'm going to go back to the first keyframe by clicking the left arrow. And now we're going to drag it to the right off the screen. I want to reset the Y value once it's off the screen to 812. That will make it horizontal. And now we're ready. So we'll hit the play key and we watch it come onto the screen and lock in and it will stay at that location for the duration that we have that on our screen. If I want it to move faster, all I need to do is take my keyframe, drag on it, and move it to the left. The closer they are together, the faster the movement will be, and we'll leave it there. I'll click on OK. So when I play my movie, it comes on and locks in place. And again, you can change the duration of how long it stays on the screen by simply lengthening its duration and it should stay on as long as you prefer. So that's a simple way of taking a text banner and making it slide on the screen in CyberLink PowerDirector.